Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss Gold tonight. I am bringing you Monk Monday, 123 or 124, I forget which. And for those who don't know what this is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go through it. Um, twos, threes, RBG, Solo Shuffle, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, it really doesn't matter. Just send me any gameplay you have, and I will do my best to help you improve. I think watching back, recording your gameplay, and watching it is one of the best ways you can improve uh, pretty much anything. So today we have timed. <clears throat> Uh, who says, uh, sent you some <laughs> two hours. I see that two hours of gameplay um, at the beginning of Team at One. So I'm watching, but I'm sure to watch it all. I'm also terrible at editing. You don't have to worry about editing ever. Just You can just send me the raw games. It doesn't matter. Um, if you don't watch the review all games, is there any way you could make sure to review the match that starts at the 48 minute mark? Uh, but I feel like there are a few things I did sloppily. Yeah, I can do that. I think a consistent trend uh, in a lot of these games is we're doing a lot of winning, but I end up losing because I get aggressive and throughout the end. Yeah, that happens. When I first started playing Miss Weaver, that happened a lot. Uh, let me see the 48 minute mark. This one right here. And then we'll just, I'll just go through as many games as I can, really. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, even if all you do is read the email. Yo, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, I will. I'm more than happy. This is actually, this is the first threes game I have gotten. Uh, this this entire expansion, yeah, most of it has been actually all of it has been solo shuffle, so this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. It's a little weird. Um, so we are not we're void elf, which is sick. All right, I've always wanted to try void elf for sure. Um, we're playing some destro affliction, destro affliction, destro feral, which I think is a pretty solid comp. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We're playing against sub rogue, just destro lock. So a lot of a lot of damage here. There's a lot of damage. You pretty much want to make sure that during the rogue damage, there's a, some way to. Is this NA? I swear I queued into this evoker yesterday. Um, you want to make sure that you're healing through the rogue damage as best you can. That shadow blade straight from the rip. We're trying to put a Zen sphere out. Um, we also get the dragon coming in hot. Looking for it. Does have the stun. We are playing Restoral, which is good, but the dragon's now the dragon's gonna go for a breath stun into a sleepwalk. So hopefully we have some kind of stop for the sleepwalk. Yep, there it is, sleepwalk. We don't have a stop. It does put us so the good thing about the sleepwalk is it puts us on fear dr. So that means we blind is half and and fears are half. So that's good. Uh, good job healing there. Um, smoke bomb as well. A few ways to react to this. You could revival. Um, you could rop. But it might, Barkskin is also available from your Druid. Barkskin and Revival, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, your Pharaoh didn't have to Trinket, which is good because you kind of want to save it for Shadowy Duel, which is pretty important. Uh, stun on, or kick on your Warlock. And yeah, I think overall, we're doing a pretty good job right now. The biggest thing versus Sub Rogues, in my opinion, is you don't want to overlap cooldowns. So we also have Trinkets, we still have our cooldowns. Uh, your Feral still has, oh, it's not a feral. It's a balanced druid. <laughs> it's not a feral at all. It is playing. All right. Uh, we tr we both. Okay. So either way, it doesn't matter. We do get blinded here. Um, but it looks like we both trinket. It looks like. Yeah, I think we both trinket it. We trinket cocoon. And then the your druid trinketed renewal. So that right there, like what I was just saying, is this is um, the biggest mistake you can play make versus like any any rogue team not just rogue mage but rogue lock um rogue hunter anything like that it's it's overlapping cooldowns so now we have kind of nothing but maybe that's okay because that was blind so you know next go hopefully we don't get feared or something and we should be okay uh, might get gouged into like kidney shit couch yep, into potentially a stun on you we'll see Destro Lock, so one little trick you can do here, by the way, and it's very niche, but it works, is you can taunt this Infernal. Uh, you can enable nameplates for, like, little minions, that, but that it's not the um, Warlock pets. But you can have the Warlock minions that spawn, or whatever they're called, secondary pets. Um, and you can taunt the Infernal. So what that does is the Infernal deals AoE damage out to everybody. And it'll break any CC that breaks the damage. So blinds, gouges, potentially fears, potentially seepwalks, stuff like that. You can assaps. So really good for when you're in situations where you're playing against a Destro lock. And you need to like break CC. Repentances as well. I got the idea in BFA. Mm, okay, that's Trinket from the Rogue, which is good. Trinket on the Bash. That's your Root on the Rogue as well, which is good. 
Okay, bolt's coming out. I like that we're cutting with our Boomy. This is really good. I like this a lot. They're going to try to swap to your Warlock, but I don't think... Uh, I think that's okay. Nice Rob here on the Rogue. Really good, really good Rob here. Uh, really want to get your Hots out, though. You really... Need, make sure you got to get your hots out uh renewing mist on your teammates as much as you can you have renewing mist on yourself here we also have an instant vivify as well so try to take advantage of that so our you know you want to put a renewing mist on your on your druid you know or anyone any teammate you're with and then you could follow up with an instant vivify get some good healing out good sweep here on the rogue um the it's good if we had a swap to him we also have um nullifying shroud and sleepwalk so uh, we're gonna get CC here. We're probably gonna get kidney shot on your druid. We do have bark skin available. Great kiting from your druid, actually. Really good. Really, really. We get kicked. All right. What can we have done to not get kicked here? Let me see. Uh, <coughs> um, let me see. Uh, do we have thunder focus T? I'm checking to see if we have thunder focus. No, we have thunder focus T in five. We have an instant vivify though. So what we could have done here potentially is throw our, um, you know, throw a Zen sphere out and like renewing mist. And then go for an instant vivify. That way you have some instant healing. And then you actually have two charges of renewing mist. So you could technically double renewing mist on your um on your druid. And then maybe you have not, then you should buy enough time to have your thunder focusing involving if you if you need it. But we get kicked instead. So always keep in mind when your teammates are getting low and there's kicks available, always try to note like what instant healing you have available because it can make or break a lot of games. There are, you know, um, a lot of teams have kicks. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of CC. There's a lot of damage. There's a lot. So, and there's not a lot of, a whole lot of uh, instant healing that Mistweavers have. But we do have it when it kind of lines up. So keep that in mind. We also have Restore in 10 seconds. So we do have cooldowns. Where is the Warlock, actually? Where is the Warlock? Moon Dust, right there. Okay. I was going to say, if you get kicked here, we can go for an in cap. Nice. Okay, okay, we get a kick on the Warlock, which is really good from your Warlock. Um, if the Rogue pushes out, you can go for an in-cap on him, potentially. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. So this, although it's scary, I think we're okay. I wouldn't freak out right now. We have Revival in 7. We have Thunder Focus D in 3. In-cap on the Rogue is really good. We do have a Bolt coming in hot. So we do have Bark Skin. We have not used Root Beam once, so maybe I'm not tracking it right. But we do have a Bolt coming in hot. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Okay. Beautiful. Holy cow. We do have restore all back too. Well done. Well done. I'm I'm looking to see when we're gonna root beam though. Or like beam anything. Like you can still beam a uh, preservation evoker to lock them out. Um but yeah, the no fine shroud is down, sleepwalk is nice. Oh wait. No, there was no root beam. He just stopped casting the Oh, nice cocoon here. Nice. Here comes a sleepwalk. Maybe go for a kick on it. It's disintegrate coming in hot, just trying to do damage, try to kill your your boomy. Gouge on you again is fine. Bash on the rogue is really good. Yeah, but we need some kind of cross CC here. Yeah, this is a really this is really good. This is a really really good bash here. But we need something on the preservation evoker. Otherwise, the 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 preservation evoker has a lot of healing output and it's all instant. So you want to make sure that you have something on the preservation broken. We have nothing. We don't have a fear. We don't have a cyclone. We don't have an in cap. We we have nothing. So and since your druid's getting targeted, you should be able to. They should be able to have a bunch of fast cast clones. So keep that in mind. Your maybe your boomy can like try to clone first and then bash. Like clone the healer uh, and wait to bash until there's some kind of CC on the healer. Um, but yeah, this is uh, good pressure coming out. We're definitely winning on mana, so mana is definitely not an issue. Especially since we have Innervate too, so we should be good going into Dampening. Fear, nice, good, yeah, perfect, right here. Fear on the Preservation preservation Evoker, now would be a good time to bash the Rogue. That way you have the Cross to see, and then maybe you go for an in-cap on the Warlock. That way everyone has CC at the same time. Uh, Rop here is good for Smoke Bomb, really good. Even a Sweep if you want to, oh, good. That Shadow Fury from your Warlock is really nice. Fear on you, Bolt's coming in hot. Good, 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 all right, good. We're doing good, careful not to stack, but we're doing a good job. Um... Todd? Yeah, no, that's pretty good. No, that was that was a good game. Uh, which which game were we talking about? It starts at forty eight minute mark. No, that was a, that was a good game. That was that was that was that was a good game. I mean, it got a little um, a little dicey in the in the in the middle there, but overall, you did a really good job peeling when you got kicked. Always be always be aware of the instant healing that you have as well when there were kicks available. I know we didn't have Thunder Focus T, but Renewing Mist does have instant healing because if you're running Mastery, it actually does have a decent heal. And then take advantage of your Instant Vivifies as well. Instant Vivify is really, really good. Um, 
when you need it. You know, I wouldn't recommend just trying to heal with it, but it is good when you need it. Let's see. What's the next game? All right, Miss Weaver, Dash or Ellie. All right, you know what I'm going to try to do? Any meta comps, I'm just going to try to do it because I feel like a lot of people, like, you know, haven't seen a lot of meta comps. This is absolutely meta comp. So uh, this is, we're looking good here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got our statue down. Beautiful. Uh, meat beater. Wait, I, I, <laughs> I know this. I play with this Ellie. So yeah, um, definitely know him. So uh, we got to get a renewing mist on our boomy. Perfect. And we're, we're off to a great start. Uh, you want to instantly start dispelling. Yeah, just dispel as much as you can. Actually, you know what I would, you know what I would say versus this? Oh, perfect. You're playing normal revival. Beautiful. Yeah, I was going to say, I play Normal Revival versus this. Versus Ellie, Shadow Priest, um, Destro Lock, Boomies. I, I play it because they are, they're mostly based around dots. If you could dispel them all in once, uh, it's really good. Oh, and Affliction Warlocks. Let's reflect from the Destro Lock. We have a Root Beam on the Mistweaver. Maybe go for an in-cap off that. Yeah, it's really good if you can get the... If you can, if we can get any kind of like CC off of the Root Beam, it's really good. Even if it's not just your in-cap, it could be a Cyclone. Uh, it could be a Fear. It could be a Bash. Anything. Um... It makes it the root root beam makes it really easy to follow up the CC or to get follow up CC. Uh, kick on your warlock, which is good for you. We have an instant vivify available. Nice, beautiful, nice, good. We have renewing mist, good. It looks like we're trying to yeah, just position. This sweep is fine. Yeah, I wouldn't freak out here. Yeah, we're stunned LOS. This is good. And then just line the shaman. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I think that was an essence font there. Uh, which is not going to help the mana, but I think we're still going to be in an alright spot. Good healing here. Good. Good, that's Sheer on your Warlock. There's still Locks CS available, but for the most part, it should be, you should be fine. Just keep dispelling. It's I know it's going to be annoying. Also, I don't know if I'd like us stacked behind this pillar. I think you want to be out in the open. Like, what, you're, what the other team is doing to you right now is what you want to be doing to them. So I think it's a battle for mid, midfield. Uh, but we're doing a good job dispelling as much as we can. Your boomy's kiting away, which is really good. Um, we're doing mist, we're doing mist. Especially if they keep running away or like trying to stack on top of you and be aggressive. Just take advantage of it. But we are winning on mana by a good amount. So the point right now is to try and stay alive. Good, good. Push into them, which is, it, this would be really good if you could push into them, prevent the monk from trying to get a drink, and keep your team aggressive. We are doing a good job. Boy, like has no CS. Nice try on the uh, route there. In cap into sweep. I think this is fine. Yeah, the monk is struggling on mana right now. We're doing so good. Uh, we do have any CC for the monk here. Anything? I think the monk is behind you. Or is someone behind you? Oh, no, no. It's just a warlock. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> way overextended. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. And then we all... I think we're also playing Zen Spheres. So make sure you just kind of swap your Zen Spheres based on who you're... You know, who they're hitting. I know it's easier said than done. Revival for a good reset here is beautiful. Good. Good. Yep. We're doing a great job. And just keep your renewing mist going out. Beautiful. Precog on your warlock is great. You want to push up into them. Yep. Good. Good. Perfect. Good root beam here. Monk might have to trinket this. I mean, that's trinket from the warlock. If we can get any follow up on the monk, it'd be really, really good. Grinding from the shaman. Uh, they don't. They they do have sheer. No warlocks. Yes. Good port from your warlock as well. Renewing mist. Renewing mist. Good. Good. You know what you should do? Straight up. Void Elf Racial. Listen, when you have Leg Sweep, Void Elf, void elf Racial in, Leg Sweep poured out, done. I'm going Void Elf. That's it. <clears throat> um, good healing. Good. Yeah, just honestly, you just try to keep your team alive. Great Rop there to get him out. And you want to stay on top of them just so you can prevent the monk from drinking. And okay, roll in for a sweep. Beautiful. Every trinket in the game. Oh, wait, we have no trinket. Oh, no. Not like this. We have Fort Brew. GG. Oh, no, not the coil. No bolts coming in hot. Okay, good, good. Don't be afraid to use. So we have Fort Brew. We have Yulon. We have Cocoon. Like, we, you know, they have CS available. Be careful. Be careful. You don't want to get locked out. Okay. Uh, I think we're trying to... I guess we're trying to greet, uh, like, our defensives, but I think it's okay. But, yeah, just be careful. Because if they kicked you when your teammate was at, like, 22%, they probably could have killed them. So be careful. Uh, good job getting that root. Monk's trying to drink here. Good job stopping it if we can. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Good. Last on you. We have revival back, so we can just reset. Good. Good. Revival's perfect. Fort proof from the wind from the Mistweaver. Yeah, you don't want to hit the Mistweaver. 
Uh, definitely try to go either Destro or Ellie and put Zen Sphere on whoever you're hitting uh, for that 15 or 10% damage. It's really important even later in damping. The Observer is nice, nice. We killed it. Good. Good. Reflect from the Warlock. We do get stunned here. Um, bolt on you. Hopefully no coil, cocoon on you. Yeah, be careful. Uh, we're 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 definitely overextending quite a bit. Like we're on their pillar. You don't need to do all this. Like stopping the drink is fine, and then get out. Like just tell your team to please push up on the enemy team and to make sure the monk doesn't get a drink. That's pretty much it. Um, anything past right here, I would just I would just roll back. Yeah, I would just get back. Revival is perfect, and then roll back to your pillar because you're going to get swapped to and die or, you know, you're taking unnecessary damage and you're going to kind of fall behind on mana, even though the monk and the monk will have decent mana if they've used their thunder focus T, right? So keep that in mind. Observer's kind of going to town with thunder focus T and Velping Mist there. Uh, Zen sphere on your war, on your warlock, which is good. Zen sphere on the war, warlock. <laughs> Who could yourself? Yeah. So we've definitely like overstayed on this pillar. Definitely just go back to your pillar. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Like, this this was definitely, absolutely, 100% a winnable game. But we just stayed in too long. Stop the drink, get a CC, and then get out. Like, do not... You're making it way too easy for them to CC you. So, just make it as difficult as you can for them to CC you. You're winning on mana. Like, usually when I'm winning, uh, like, ahead on mana, I just tell my team to just, like, focus on surviving. Just live and we win. And, you know, don't overextend and you should be fine. Uh, that's pretty much all this game was about. Just overextending, staying too long on the pillar. Just play back on your pillar or put your port back there and port, you know, when you get overextended or get swapped to and you sh you should be fine. Um, Shadow Priest Destro is another meta comp. All right, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting all the good cues, huh? All right, let's see what we got. Um, also, I probably won't have like a critique section at the end just because there's... It's a long video, so I'll just do it as I go. Hopefully, this is helpful. Uh, I play normal or... Uh, I play... Oh, we don't know. Restore is good. No, no. I play. You know what I play versus this? I play Peace Weaver, Zen Spheres, Eminence versus this. And I play Normal Revival because Eminence will make it so if the Pally's playing like Hodge Rep, you could port it. And then you can Normal Revival to dispel all the Shadow Priests and the Warlock Thoughts. That's what I do. I think it, feel, it feels pretty good. I mean, Restore is good too, for sure. Um, I guess I dropped Zen Focus T, but you're playing with two casters, so you know they gotta kick something. Might as well. <laughs> it probably won't be you. Could be you. Probably won't be you though. Um, Pally's already charging in. Pally is leading the charge. He already trinkets Cyclone on the trinket here. I don't know what this Pally's doing, but that's great for you. Shadow Priest is already dying and uh, gets kicked, and uh, we taught him. Okay. Oh, that was a great game. Uh, not. <laughs> Not a, not a lot to do there, but that was a good game. Yeah, very, very good. Very good. Outplayed him. I don't know what that Pally was doing. Pally was leading the freaking charge there. Anyway, as long as we're playing normal revival, uh, normally it's pretty good into this. And then you, ca I just dispel when I can. You know, I, I use diffuse magic to reverse dots. Um, Zen focus T and then dispel so you don't get silenced. So stuff like that I think is pretty good. Um but yeah, yeah, this is good. I don't, the thing is, I feel like your team is doing a lot is staying behind the pillar and I think it's okay. But <clears throat> when you get the chance, try to be aggressive. I know this is Observer from the Warlock or this is ours. No, it's theirs. Um, Precog on your Boomy, which is really good. Hopefully we get some kind of Cyclone or damage coming out with that. Thunder Focus T and Velvet Mist there. I think that might've been Health Stone from your Warlock too. This is Yulon. So we're going to get some good hots out going out here. We do Essence Font as well. So, oh, with, with Innervate. Beautiful. Really, really good here. Yeah, we should be able to just crank some healing. Honestly, with Innervate, I mean, just, I would, when you have Innervate up, what I would do is I would Essence Font you on and just start cranking about this, like, on every single person. Innervate is a really, really good tool to have on your team. Uh, we do Dispel, we do get Silence, which is fine, I think. I think maybe we just out PVE them, because we do have Revival, so the Affliction Warlock's not going to like you a lot. Yep, Dispel there, good. Or I think that Fear broke. We do uh, Revival there, which is fine. Um... Lock, uh, we CS the Elemental Shaman, which is good. Your Warlock gets CS, which is a little uh, unfortunate. Renewing Mist, good. Grounding from the Ellie Shaman on the other team. Big healing on your Boomy, which is good. Fear on you. Going to get Dot on you, which is really annoying. You can always, if if you ever see a UA on you, I, I instantly try to defuse magic back. I really do. Um, 
and then you could dispel and you get lower um, damage on it. So what I do is um, diffuse magic reflects back the dots and dispels everything. And then with that damage reduction on magic, I will dispel again. So you get like a ton of dots um, from one cooldown. And then you have revival that you uh, can rotate it with polymorph. But if you stand an earthquake, it should break. Perfect. All right, we're doing a good job. Nice sweep here. Somehow it didn't hit the warlock, which I think is kind of crazy. But I think we're doing a good job. I think mana wise, we're like pretty even, but the rot of on the other team is is pretty rough. Um, I think maybe we need to hit the warlock just a little bit more because the warlock right now is just standing in the middle of the map, not even trying to run away. So try your best to yeah. There's drain soul, keep the warlock aggressive. Yeah, I think it might be warlock here. Shaman's pushed in on you. Yeah, they're kind of just running into your team, and they <laughs> like they 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 just don't care. It's weird. Uh, Shira knew is okay. I mean, maybe just swap to this. Yeah, swap to the shaman back there. Why not? All right, all right, they get out. All right, or we get in. Either way, I think no, I think they get it out. Uh, this is good. So we want to be on their pillar. That's a root. That's a sweep on you, which is really good. Nice CS there, Shear. So they shouldn't have any kicks available, which means we can just free cast Fear on you, but it breaks to dots, which I think is good. Yeah. Yep. Keep hitting the Warlock. Beautiful. Dispel if you can. Cocoon. Try to be ready to, to when you see a Warlock at low, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to drain soul. They're going to try to soul rot, drain soul. And so what you want to do, they might even try to do it with your wall. So what you want to do is, or precog, is you want to get your ROP ready to knock it instantly. That way you interrupt it. Uh, roots on you cocoon's gonna be down from the from the warlock soon that's a sentence from the alley shaman too so damage gonna come out we have revival in a minute 15 so we, we we're gonna be taking some damage for a little bit here just a little bit okay we're doing miss good vote miss nice good good big healing beautiful really good job here really really good work Keeping our team alive. We also have we have Yulon back. We have uh, Fort Brew if we need it. Zen Sphere on your boom. Yeah, put Zen Sphere on whoever you're hitting. Uh, just keep that in mind. Yes, NECC. Good kick there. Good kick there on the Mistweaver. Really, really good. Maybe we can get an in cap off. Nice. Good. We're starting to take a little damage. We do have Bark Skin. We do have Life Cocoon. Good. Good Yulon here. Monk is actually the Mistweaver is actually starting to take uh, starting to lose on mana. I think he Shadow Melts drinks there. Hopefully, hopefully we get a stop for the drink. And he stopped. He's starting to get some mana. I think we stopped it, which is really good. I think he got a little bit, but not much. Sheer on you. Life Cocoon is perfect. Careful. They do have kicks. They do have lock CS, and we do dispel there. So that's good. We have one healing elixir. So nothing. another thing we can do is you can heal the elixir while you're silent, which is good. Sheer on you, Boomy. Grounding from your from the Ellie. Maybe we're trying to go for a drink? No. I think we're doing a great job with mana. So I think overall, we just got to keep our team aggressive. Uh, we do have revival back, so that's a that's a huge tool to have later in this game, is uh, revival. So when you see the dots, the UA is going out. Monk is drinking right now, drinking a lot. Oh yeah, maybe we just kill the Ellie Shaman while he's drinking. Oh my God, beautiful. Yeah, this was a good game too. Yeah, good job. Keep your team uh, alive and keep your enemy missed out. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I think the game was good. Good job dispelling when you had to. Good job using healing elixirs to keep you keep yourself alive. And uh, yeah, that's a tough one. That's that is a tough one. Revival is really good versus that. Let me see. What we got? Turbo. <laughs> Turbo is a tough one. Let me see. All right. Uh, yeah, disarm's good. Zen focus T. Revival. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. That's fine. Normally versus double caster or as playing double caster, you normally don't um, get swapped to. Normally it's either the warlock. I think they're probably gonna go your warlock, just because I think they have the less mo least mobility. So that's Stormbolt looking for. That's hero. That's Bloodlust. Um, so we'll probably want to disarm something right now. I don't. I don't know where a disarm is. Let me see. We have feared. I don't know if we have. I don't know where our disarm is, I'm going to be honest. But hopefully we disarm something. We can disarm the warrior or the enhancement shaman. Either one works. And we do have sweep too. So we could... A good thing to use is sweep to peel for your DPS. Uh, after that cyclone, you could potentially go for a double sweep. Especially since your teammates don't really have... Beautiful. Nice. We got on the shaman. I guess it didn't hit the warrior. I don't know. I think we have anti-crit on the warrior right now, which is good. Um, 
and then the dra the dragon actually could die. Emerald Communion is really good. And the dragon also doesn't have the uh, nullifying shroud either anymore. So definitely a kill target. Not a kill target, but you're able to get CC now at least. And since they don't have any kicks right now, it's just um, you could just free cast. The dragon has no kick. Sheer now is coming back up, so be careful. Might have to use Thunder Focus Team Velvet Mist here. Good Rob to peel for your Warlock. Um, put a Renewing Mist on your Boomy as well. That's Renewal is, um, from your Boomy. Good. Sheer is on your, war on your Boomy. And uh, that means you can free cast. I mean, the dragon does have kick, so be careful. But I would, you know, kind of just free cast and kind of chill. Nice clone on the on the dragon. Stormbolt on you. We still have Restoral. Maybe immune any CC on you. Cocoon is fine. Yeah, if you have to deal with multiple kicks and someone's low, I normally just cocoon. Nice sweep here on the warrior. Um, too bad it couldn't be on the shaman too, which is a little bit unfortunate. But uh, that looked like French regen from the warrior. So I think the warrior, you actually scared the warrior just a little bit. <laughs> just a just a little bit to make him use French regen. Uh, big healing. Oh, roll. Nice. Good. Oh, damn it. So one thing I would, uh, for when you're playing with a Warlock, you want a position between your Warlock. This is actually a good example. You want a position between your Warlock and their port. So we're right now we're positioned on this side of the pillar. I would position on this side of the pillar. The reason for this, or even up here, the reason for this is because when the Warlock ports... You could still keep healing. So right now we're healing, right? We suddenly missed. We get sheared, which is fine. And then your warlock ports, right? And we're not... Oh, I hate this map, by the way. And your warlock is not in line of you. And so we have to roll. We have to waste time. Your warlock actually, for some reason, just gets crushed there. Um, but we roll. We have to waste time instead of just being able to keep healing. Like right now you could heal and then keep healing. And we also have revival too. Um, which is really annoying. Yeah, we had revival, but I think your warlock just died really fast. It's really annoying. Like literally in the GC, it's actually insane. I think you're pressing it too. <laughs> yep, <clears throat> it's actually insane. But yeah, that's that's how I position with a warlock. I uh, I I would position like here. If your warlock is here, out here, I I would position here between your warlock and the port. That way, it doesn't break your soothing mist, and you could just keep healing. But yeah, Turbo is really rough for Warlocks, by the way. It's like Harambe's least favorite comp to queue into. It's really, really rough. It's not fun. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, another Turbo. <laughs> we could do another Turbo. Fury Warrior is also pretty good, too. Let me see. All right. Uh, same thing. Redemption time. Arms Warriors. Um, I, I think they're just as... I think Fury and Arms are both good. I think it depends on uptime. And who's going to have the most uptime? All right. Port down. Good. Statue. Great. Nice. 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 Stormbolt on you. Dark Pact. I would just instantly port. Do we have a port down? Yeah, we have a port. Yeah, I would just instantly port. Like, I, yeah, we're, we're, you know, oh my God. we're. I mean, we just have port, don't we? Yeah, I think right now we're just... As soon as the like bloodlust is already five seconds in, I would just port right here. You're just looking. We're eating a lot of damage right now from this turbo for for no reason. Like we we have port, and warlocks have a, a, a cool a talent that lets them reduce the cooldown of port whenever they get hit by melee. I'm pretty sure with like a five second internal cooldown. So I yeah we need to port and we don't port. So we just you we use Yulon we use wall, uh, which is very unfortunate. Uh, good root beam on the monk here. Maybe we're trying to be aggressive. Nice disarm on the warrior. Hitting the shaman in the coil. Really good. And he's any follow-up CC? We need follow-up CC. Like the the monk is in a root beam, standing, cannot go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. We need something. We need a cyclone. We need a fear. Pro your warlock probably can't fear, but a cyclone, an in cap, uh, literally anything. I mean anything. And we'll probably get a trinket. Also, I don't know if we have Zen Sphere on the... Yeah, we don't have Zen Sphere on the Shaman here. But potentially could have gotten a kill here with it. Um, if it was on the whole time. Yeah, we get it at the end. But it's not... Yeah, it's too late. Because the Monk just used Revival. And gets out of Root Beam. So, try to get Follow-Up CC off of Root Beam. And then try to... At least, if you can't have 100% uptime on Zen Sphere. At least put it on the target when your teammate starts doing damage. Uh, and we port now. But, yeah, we don't have any cool... I mean, we would have Life Cocoon, I guess, back. Um, also try to put Zen Sphere on your Warlock. Trinket from the Warrior. Fear on you. Dark Pact. Thunder Focus Team Velvet Mist here. 
Try to juke Sheer, it looks like. Stormbolt on you. Um, I get incapped off this. Incap on you. We still have Envelope Mist. We have an instant Envelope Mist. Life Cocoon is fine too. We do port. So now, yeah, we port now. I mean, maybe we had damage at the start, but still, trading wall for it is, uh, is kind of rough. Uh, we're doing Mist. We're doing Mist. Good. Nice. Envelope Mist is good. We need something on the Monk. Beautiful in cap here. Maybe a sweep off if we have it. No, we have Roth right into the corner. <laughs> All right, we're doing better. We're doing better than the, okay. Maybe a little revival here. Yep, good, good or restoral. Good in cap on you. I don't think he, I don't think the monk has sweep. Yeah, nice CS on the monk there. Zen focus T. If we can get some CC on it, beautiful. Leg sweep is really good on the Zen focus T. Um, monk rose white. Good clones here. Let's see, this is what this see, and then we get the train instantly. Nice kick on the monk as well. Really good. Root beam, or maybe just beam. I don't think we got the root. We might have used it to peel. We have port soon. Careful. We're kind of in the middle map, so be careful. Nice clone on the enhanced shaman. If we can get anything on the Mistweaver, maybe an in-cap on the Mistweaver? No, nah, that's all right. I think it might have been too hard. A warlock's still dying. They have no kicks, though, so we could just uh, heal. In-cap on you. I think he does have sweep for this. Also a hex into a sweep. Dark pack from your warlock. Trinket from us. Trinket cocoon from us. Nice in-cap on the monk. I swapped your druid. I guess you have bark skin and renewal. So I think your boomy is going to be fine. Yeah, Zen Sphere is good. Try to put it nice on the shaman. Good. We're doing a really good job. That's wall from your warlock. Maybe because we have damage. I don't know because we have port. I mean, we must have damage. Yeah, it must have something. <laughs> I think we have something. Healing. Nice. Shear on you. I Shear on you is fine. Cause, yeah, because your warlock port. So you should be fine. Rob here. Good. Be healing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a good job here of staying alive. We're doing a much better job versus, tur versus this turbo. Um, Zen focus T on the Mistweaver. Maybe we can in-cap or something during it. I think your Boomy's trying to go for a clone. Hex on you. Nice to spell from your Boomy. Try to sweep here. You know what? You know what's a really good setup, by the way, when you're playing with the Boomy every minute? Leg sweep the DPS. Root beam the healer. Really, really good setup. And then you could get some follow-up. You can get follow-up clone. Follow up in cap. Like you have there's so many ways to follow up the root beam. So good. Nice. Good Yulon here. Oh, Burrow from the Enhancement Shaman. Love that spell. And he pops up. Monks on you, in cap, DR, because you got hexed. Maybe into a sweep. I think maybe he's trying to kick you. He does kick you. I think that's okay. Kick him back. Nice CS. Sweep on you. We have bark skin. Good. We also have renewal. Great. I bet your warlock is. I bet your warlock loves that they're not finally hitting them, <laughs> um, but they probably should be hitting your warlock. I'm not gonna lie, they should be. Blade storm from the warrior. We have no. Oh, we have cocoon actually. We have cocoon, no trinket. I'm pretty sure. Um, nice root beam. All right. Oh, nice clone. See, that's per. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Is try to get follow up with from the root beam. We have in cap potentially on the monk in cap. Oh, cocoon. Nice. Also, the same thing happened this game just now with the uh, positioning. Um, your Warlock ports, we're really far. We're really far from the Warlock port and the Warlock ports. And now we have to use mobility and waste time healing. Like, we're falling behind. We fall we actually have to use... Don't we have to use Life Cocoon? Am I crazy? Yeah, we have to use Life Cocoon. So, always try to... Like, if, you're, if your Warlock Warlock's port is here, try to stay on this pillar or, like, back here or even on the other pillar facing them because... As long as both are in line, you should be fine. But when it's when you get far away from the port that's kind of rough. Incap on, or stun on the monk is really good. Hex on you. Uh, kick on your druid. Um, we have to do, deal with some kicks right now. Rop, shear as well. We get precog there, which is good. Nice, good. Disarm of the warrior is beautiful. Todd. Ooh, okay. Parry from the warrior. That's fine. That's fine. I think mana is a little tight. Uh, you get precog, so just outcast. Yeah. Sweep on you. We have re renewal if we need it. We do press renewal. Okay. Hex, careful. I guess you're booming just to spell it right. No point in stopping it. Uh, where, where are we right now? We have wall, nice. But I think we're far from our port, aren't we? Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like I'm not though. Nice. All right, I was kind of focused on them. Let me see. 
Do we do we kill the shaman here? Oh man, that was close. Damn, that was close. Nice kill. Yeah, the biggest thing in this game again, positioning between your warlock and their port. That way you don't have to you don't have to stop channeling your soothing mist when they port. It is really important. But yeah, good game, good disarms and everything. All right, let's see what do we got going on here. What's this? Red demo. I haven't seen a red demo in a minute. Rogue lock. This is actually this is a, this is a pretty meta comp right here actually. All right. Um, what do I play? I play Eminence, Peace Weaver. I think Zen Spheres versus this. If they're going you, you could put Zen Spheres on the Rogue and they do 10% less damage to you. Oh my. Opening hard on you. Try to port. Oh, okay. So this right here is a slight misplay by you. You always want your second port to be when you're not stunned. Always, always, always when you're not stunned. So right here, this gap they leave right here. The reason is if you're playing Eminence and you have, and you have Escape from Reality, you get the cooldown reduction. But if you port the second time, you don't get the cooldown reduction from Eminence. So that means you're you're not going to have stun for next stun here. So if they're going you, this is going to be scary. If this team knows how to play against Mistweavers, this team is going to get your trinket next go because they'll just go you. So instead of porting now, we port now while in the stun, which means our port um, our port cooldown, I don't know where our port cooldown is, but I think it's like 35 seconds, I think, or 45, 35, I think. Um, which is not ideal. Fear, smoke bomb, bark skin from your druid is good. We roll in, maybe a little sweep, maybe a little in-cap. Nice disarm, beautiful. Beautiful, good. Good, 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 nice. Fear breaks, paints up on the warlock. Okay, so it's coming in hot from you, good. Maybe get a rop if we can. Yo, know, if you could rop him on the pillar, that'd be really good. Blind, they're trying to go, they must be trying to go you if they try to blind, they blind your boomy, that's kind of weird. Stun on you. Oh, yeah. No, Suburbs. Good restore here. Really good. Really, really good. Yeah, Suburbs do a ton of damage. Um, good Yulon here as well. Do a little damage to him. Why not? Oh, we're playing Disable. All right. We love to see that. Sweep DR is okay, but ideally... Is it DR? Yeah. We already did with Shadow Fury. Not ideal. Normally, I try to save that stuff for the, the healer, but this is good. Precog on your Warlock is good as well. Yulon, we're trying to get something out. Yeah, try to get try to get some hots out with Yulon just because the mana reduction is nice and the healing is really good. Stun on you too. We're stacked on our ports. So they could try to kill you, but I think they're just going to try to kill your Warlock, it seems. Paint, okay. Overlapped a little bit there with um with Unending Resolve and Life Cocoon. Again, just like the first game, try not to overlap cooldowns against Rogues. Rogues, I, they're really annoying because they just kind of exploit if you don't, you know, if, if you overlap cooldowns. It, it sucks. But that's just how it is. Um, doing a good job, though. We do have a ROP here. Good. Keep them off your, your casters as much as you can. Cloak from the Rogue there is good. Stun on you. We do have Port Ross stun, but it's not far. Oh, okay. Maybe no follow-up stuns. Coil is rough. Coil is rough. We trinket. Good. Don't have focus T Envelope Mist here. Give me an Envelope Mist. Yep. Good. Renewing Mist. Good. You could, So this is also a good situation to use Expel Harm. And you also have an Instant Vivify up here. So this the, the Instant Healing I, start, I said at the beginning of the game. Really, really good right now. So you have Thunder Focus T. I think we used Enveloping Mist as well. Let me see. Coil, train of this. Healing Elixir. Double Healing Elixir is great. Thunder Focus T. Enveloping Mist, beautiful. Boom, good. Expel Harm, Instant Vivify. Um, We also have Fort Brew, and we also have Health Stone. We also have Dampen Harm. So we have a lot of cooldowns here. Let's see how you react. Let's see how you react. Good. All right, good. They lay off you. Perfect. Good job cutting away from the damage. Well done. Uh, Get your Renewing Mist out on your Warlock. Yep, because the damage don't stop, baby. Damage. The damage that this comp can do just never freaking stops. It's actually crazy. Um, instant revival. Nice revival here. We're in the smoke bomb. We're here. We do get full cheap shot here. Maybe a fear off, but it'd be half, so that's good. And uh, yeah. Oh, also, I don't know if your warlock is running it, but my warlock does. And it's when you use health stone, it heals the warlock. So that is another good way to heal you and your warlock, or or your warlock um, if they're not hitting you, is you could use health stone to heal them. Uh, we have, we want to put Renewing Mist on the Boomy. Good. 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 Great. Sweep. DR on the Warlock. Full on the Rogue, though, which is good. Maybe some CC. Maybe an in-cap on the Healer. Um, Clone on the Rogue is good. It looks like we want to hit the Warlock. That's second Pain Suppression. Might have a third charge of it by now, though. Um, nice Cyclone on the Warlock. The Rogue. I would be very careful. Very, very careful with positioning right now. 
because if the rogue is hitting you and you're stacked on your port, you can die. You you can die 100 to this rogue, okay, without any of the Warlocks help. <laughs> so be careful stacking on your port because if you get kidney shot on your port, you're going to you're gonna die. Um, trinket port from your Warlock is good. Thankfully, they have no kicks for you. Coil, great peels as well. Good, good. Everything's doing, you're doing a great job. Team's doing a great job. Lock on you or locked uh, coil on you on your boomy. So kidney shot on you. This is a little scary. Double port, good. We get stunned again. Cocoon, not even close, not even close. <laughs> uh, they have no, the rogue does have a kick. Nice drop here, so now the rogue shouldn't be able to kick you. Uh, that's kick on the warlock. So now you're kind of you're kind of just free casting right now. Um, maybe they can CC you, but you can free cast. Warlock now has kick available. Oh, kick on you. Do we have any any tools? Maybe your boomy has like health zone or something. Friends regen gets out. Stun on you. Oh wow. Yeah, no, we actually live this. That's crazy. Oh wow. Yeah, boomies are pretty. Oh. Oh, spoke too soon. All right. Yeah, this one, I really think the issue is we're letting the other team, we're, we're stacked behind the pillar like every game. A every single game, we're just stacked behind the pillar, and that's not what you want. I mean, you want to be there, but like this is just, and then the, the infernals and everything, but it's kind of rough. It, it Nice sweep here to peel. It was the yard, but nice, nice, uh, nice peeling. We do have ink cap potentially on the rogue off, but I think we just die here. Yeah. Maybe throw an envelope mist out. Yeah. Dang. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too... It, it's rough. I mean, we were just about to win on mana too. I think we definitely need some follow-up CC on the root beams, but stacking behind the pillar is rough. Maybe like you stay here. Like, uh, uh, you know what I think? Usually when I play with my warlock and, you know, it, maybe it differs. They put their port here, like at the base of the ramp right here. And they put the gate for the base and the ramp to the boxes. That way, if the other team wants to push in, they have to make their healer go out of position, come down here. And then more importantly, is they're not stacked on you, right? Because you never, you never ever want your team to be stacked on you, ever. Because it makes it easier to CC you, to kick you, to get you know AoE fears, AoE damage on you. So... Keep that in mind. I think you want to just replace the port, put it down here, make sure that they don't, st your team doesn't stack when they're peeling, and then you should be fine. And then, yeah, no, I think overall though, I think we're doing, I think we're doing a good job surviving. It's just, it's just a, it's just a really good comp. I'm not, it's just a really good comp, unfortunately. Um, what do we got here? Boomy Demo. Oh, what else do we have? More turbo. Do we want to get put through that again? <laughs> do we want to sit through another turbo? I don't think I've done a boomy. Oh no, I haven't seen that comp. Maybe a little, a little boomy. Okay, boomy, boomy Destro. We can do. Let's do a boomy Destro game. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, boomy Destro. I play normal revival versus. This. It looks like you are too. Very good. Um, you know, I already got our, our renewing mist out and our port and our statue, so I don't see how we could possibly lose. Uh, good healing. Great. Uh, coil on the Warlock. Incarn from the Boomy. So let's just be careful here. If you're playing Zen Focus, you had probably press it kind of soon because they might try to go for a Root Beam. It's kind of lining right now. Um, Yulon here is perfect. Good. Good. Get some hots going out. Wall from your Warlock is definitely interesting, but I guess we get Root Beamed. Okay. Um, they're going into your Boomy now. They might get some follow-up. No, they don't. Good, good. Yulon's getting some good value right now. Good dispel on that, on the, the coil. Careful that they don't have kicks. Good. All right. No, yeah, no. Dude, good. So far, so good. We want to look for some kind of CC on the monk, though. Um, oh, Cocoon, if you have it. Maybe Revival. I pay, it's one or the other. Try not to stack it. Good good, uh, good job holding Revival um, during that. Nice dispel on, or nice dispel on the fear. Fear breaks on your boomy. Good. Uh, and what the, what we're pretty much trying to do, what I would try to do if I was you, every root beam sweep something. That's what I would try to do. Every single root beam sweep a DPS and then go for an in-cap on the healer after the root beam's over. That's just the best way to deal with it or to get pressure. Um, they're kind of stacked right now. You could go for a roll-in for like a double sweep. It'd be a little risky, but uh, yep, yep. That's perfect. Perfect beautiful yes yes perfect and look at that we get a monk trinket and cocoon beautiful 
That is exactly what I'm talking. And do that every single time, though. Every time, every, every you have to think about what your goals look like. Every minute, what do you have? Every minute you have leg sweep, in cap, root beam. Every minute. So what you should do every minute is go for a root beam on the healer, sweep the DPS, get an in cap off on the healer. You will and you will net so many cooldowns so quickly because bo you, boomies do a ton of damage, warlocks do a ton of damage. Um, so just keep that in mind. Good job. Keep, we're doing mist. Uh, be careful with uh, warlocks pushing in. Maybe trying to get a CS. No, it's just trying to do damage. TPS, man. Um, yeah, no, good, good. We're doing mist. Good. We have revival as well. Zen sphere. Good. Oh, careful, careful. Oof. Good, good revival there. That was a little scary. Shadow fury on you. Good. Healing, great. Monk is, I think we're both looking, I think you're way ahead on mana actually. Now that I look at it, you're like, yeah, 70k mana ahead. So at this point, I, I would be telling my team to just focus on living. Do your best, just stay alive. Fear on you. Renewal from your, good renewal there from your boomy before the coil. Clone on you is half. Trying to get some healing out there. Yeah, it's going to be rough. We, they have Rupium available and they have CS. So let's, we got to be careful. Uh, we do have Cocoon that, Cocoon before the in-cap glorious kick on your warlock so be careful here bash on you probably into a cyclone maybe into a root beam careful yeah yeah it's 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 oh man i'm trying to see man it's rough our teams just run at you and we go behind the pillar nice cocoon here though kick on your warlock we also this this was when we yeah we walled in the opening which is a little weird so maybe if we didn't wall in the opening we also have reflect uh, maybe you can't use it while kicked i don't know but right here, like right here, it's just like so weird because we're all stacked. We're all casters. We're stacked behind the pillar. It was close though. It was close. You almost had healing. We almost had wall. We almost had reflect. We also had port, but I we were kicked. So it's just unfortunate. That kick was a little unfortunate from your warlock. But I think overall, really good game, um, which, you know, was good. You know, that was, that was a good game. Uh, it just came down to, I think, positioning. And we were definitely winning on mana by a lot, like over 100K. So... I would just focus on healing and which you did a great job with and then positioning far away from the other team. If they start to push in, rop, sweep, and then focus on your goes, which is sweep the DPS and try to in-cap the healer off the root beam. All right, one last turbo. Let's see how we do. <laughs> uh, we beat the last one, which is good. And we put our port down, statue up good. We got our new mist out, perfect. And they're probably, honestly, I'd be surprised if they didn't hit your warlock. Yeah, it looks like they're going for, are they going for your boomy? No, they're going for your warlock. Good. All right, that's PI. So this is a little scary. We sweep in the good, good, nice drop on that. I think they're rooted right now, <laughs> but <laughs> nice drop on the dome. This is PI on the warrior, so might be worth disarming him if we have it. Good disarm. We've already disarmed him, which is solid. Um, yeah, good. And then the most important thing versus Fury Warriors is kiting these stacks. These stacks are very, very important to uh, to kite out. These, this is the uh, healing reduction that they have, and it's it's called Slaughterhouse, I believe. Sheer on you. Uh, which is fine. That's their only range kick on you. So as long as long you know, as long as there isn't sheer available, you should be able to just heal. That is frenzy regen from the warrior though. So that's very good. We got a cooldown there. Stormbolt on you. We gate away. Yep. Yeah, okay. Good. All right. We have port coming back too. So as soon as your warlock starts taking damage, I would be calling for port, like in instantly. Uh, they do have sheer available. See, that's wall. But I mean, maybe it's for damage. It might be for damage. But it could, we could just port. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, feared full on you. We do have you, so, and now we pour it. So now, we, now our warlock has nothing. Our warlock has absolutely nothing. Nice sweep here. Maybe in cap the healer. Yes. No. Yes. Good. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Root on you. Care. Okay. All okay. right. Ooh. Careful. Careful. Good. Good. All right. Good. Yeah. Inter that was intervenes down on your enhancement shaman, and that was paint sub. So uh, a lot of cooldowns used there during that go. A shockwave that's uh, dark pack there we have port available from your warlock so that's really good uh, as soon as he starts taking damage beautiful by the way this positioning wonderful i mean it's kind of you know it's not it's not ideal because we're kind of in the middle of the map and they're going to swap to you but this is what i mean right here you're positioned between the warlock and his port so when when the warlock ports You'll see the Warlock ports, boom. Your Soothing Mist follows the Warlock and you don't need to stop casting. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. That anytime you're playing with a Warlock, try to position like this. Obviously, we're kind of like in the middle of the map. So after they port, they're going to swap to you. But, you know, you get the, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, be careful though, because yeah, our port is now in line of them. So 
Be careful. Um, swap from the priest, though. That's really good. Life cocoon on the on your warlock. Great. Warrior cooldowns here. If we have disarm, I'd press it. Um, and we kill the shaman. Hell yeah, that's right. That's right. Two and one versus the, versus the turbos. Nice job. Um, yeah, no, good game. But that that positioning with the, your warlock is exactly what I was talking about. Great job positioning there. Great job healing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, your healing is is great. Your healing is great. I. I don't see many issues. I think the one. I don't think, even think it's a healing issue. It's more of a setup issue. It's, it's hardly an issue because your team does the same damage. Every go, every one minute, you have a go. You have root beam on the healer, leg sweep on the DPS, in cap the healer off or cyclone, whichever one. If your boomy wants to do damage, you go for the in cap. If your boomy doesn't have a lot of damage, go for cyclones, and then you can you can in cap the healer. Your boomy can cyclone the off DPS. You have a lot of lot a lot of ways to CC people. So keep that in mind. Utilize that a little bit more. But I think overall these games were really really good. Uh, I couldn't get to all the games. I'm sorry. Hopefully uh, this was good enough though. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who's running to the same issues. I try to do uh, you know do the meta comps that you ran into. So hopefully, hopefully that's good, but that is pretty much it. Hope everyone's fantastic. Stay hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you later.